Hey guys, Falcon here, welcome back to a new video. Today, we would be going to Bolton today, but because we live in London, it's just a little too far, especially after driving back and forth from Sunderland the other day. You've got Arsenal, who've not been playing so well recently, but they've got Arteta. They're going to start playing with more passion, more energy, like they did in the Bournemouth game. On Chelsea's side, they're so, like, crazy. Like, they seem to lose all their home games, their easy matches, and then they beat Spurs away in all these other games. So, I don't really know what to expect in this match, but I'd say one thing, there's going to be goals. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'm in a rush, so let's go. Since I got offered a ticket literally an hour before kickoff, I went straight to the ground and it was a bit too late to get match predictions in. So sorry I can't add that into the video, but I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> I got there late and this is the best I could do. But here we are at the beautiful Emirates Stadium. Right, here's the seats. Tell you what, capacity is looking pretty good. Loads of fans in. Simple as that. I knew Arsenal were going to do this. Finish, surely. Oh, he's messed it up. Right. Arsenal completely on top here, completely on top. I never thought I'd see this. People are playing for Arteta. Fans very happy with that. Because they're winning 1 0 and they are the better team. It's fair to say they've been better than Chelsea. I called it. Our tattoo's doing a madness. They're going to win this. And how wrong was I? <laughs> Gone for the half time pizza. I know I've half eaten it, but it's very decent. Very decent. And I cannot believe Arsenal winning here at the Emirates. 1 0 Arsenal. Bring on the second half. So good. It's all kicking off. This game's getting a bit more feisty now, late challenges and everything. So just to explain the situation here, Jorginho put in a tackle that would usually get a second yellow card and he was on a booking two and the referee brought out his yellow and in fact he booked Lacazette for complaining rather than Jorginho and we all know what happens next. Oh, surely, surely, he's missed it, he's missed it, how do you miss that? Stays 1-0 to Arsenal but they're going to win this. Look at this atmosphere, look at this atmosphere. It's good to see a bit more passion, a bit more excitement than Emirates for once. I'm so used to seeing negativity right there. So maybe Arteta is doing something special. Let's take this in for a second. Arsenal cruising 1-0 up in the 75th minute, only 15 minutes of normal time left. How did they mess this up? This is something that Arsenal need to learn to hold on to a result like this. <laughs> So the 
possible offside here. Uh, play on. Chelsea goal counts 1 0. Oh, oh, it's on Chelsea on the break. fans leaving here early as Chelsea go 2-1 up. 88th minute, Arsenal 1, Chelsea 2. There's been a massive turnaround and Chelsea have done it. I can't believe it. I mean, it kind of sums up Arsenal at the moment. Nothing's going their way and they played really well today. That's the annoying thing. But Chelsea keep going, they keep grinding and they've got the second goal. done here. Chelsea the winners 2-1. Claps from the Arsenal end. Even though they've lost, it's time for Arteta, it's time for change. Chelsea have the bragging rights here in the match here in London. The players are running on to celebrate with Tammy. And now I've made it back home. There we have it. Arsenal 1, Chelsea 2. Another massive club that Frank Lampard has brought his Chelsea boys away to and come out with three points. I cannot believe it. Uh, I mean, it's just so inconsistent looking at Chelsea's recent results, but fair play to them for going out there and performing like they did today. They took their chances. Tammy Abraham can't score against big clubs, some people said. Well, look what happened today. You know, they're just silencing the haters week in, week out. Frank Lampard's Chelsea boys have done amazing today um, and they really seem to, they love to play with a big game, you know, they've got a lot of youth in there and they've just been great. They deserve top four this season um, and in January it's going to be interesting to see if they sign anyone and how that's going to mix in with the squad and how much they can win this year. It's going to be big, I mean on Arsenal's side you've got to give Arteta time, you know, it was nice to see Arsenal fans clap at the end because if that was Unai Emery they would be booing and telling him to go and all of this so it's good that they can handle a loss against Chelsea at their own ground uh, and accept it and just move on to the next game because that is the best mentality to have with a new manager get behind them get supporting them you know as a Bolton fan I know how that feels so please like and subscribe if you're new around here and you want to stay up with all the football content I cover everything in England thank you very much see you later bye